Hello, my name is Data. Welcome back. Hope you're doing well. Sometimes people ask me, how do you tame a cave? And I say, hmm, tame a cave, that's a great question. So we're going to go through the grave of the tyrants on scorched earth, and I'm going to tame the cave. First thing you're going to want to do is make sure you're set up and bring lots and lots of gear and equipment some of your best tames for protection and lots of turrets and on that rare occasion you might need a rocket because a rubble golem is may or may not show up and they need to be taken down all right i think the turret finished that one off but the rocket propelled grenade is definitely your friend don't be afraid to bring that along and i'm just going to Make this guy wait here. He's just been my ride. I'm carrying stuff up and down. Continuing this build. I've spent many hours in here. Use a lot of the spiked walls. Anywhere you feel could be an entrance for the nasty dinosaurs that are found all over the caves. Set up generators every once in a while. Make sure your generators are always covered with a turret from above. That way you can know that you're safely setting everything up. Throw in as many foundations or build little one by ones if necessary to try to block out as many spawn points as possible for the dinosaurs. And on some caves it doesn't work. They still spawn in there. We're gonna do a little target practice here. Get some of the action going. Get these turrets up and moving. You can see it's starting to clear out. I, this thing was hanging on the wall above me. And I see there's another saber over there. Take that thing out. And, and continue building all the way down, all the way in. Turrets will be your friend. Adding some more spiked walls anywhere there is an escape route or an attack point for the dinosaurs. Throw as many in there as possible. Put a bunch of... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at that. See, the turn saved me. I don't even know where that came from. That might have glitched through a wall or something. There is the objective. It's time for a little bit of a target practice down here. They are just out of reach of the turrets. I haven't made my way down there yet. So we're going to have to clear this out the good old fashioned way. Alright. Turrets are your friend. Use as many of these electrical lines as you can possibly fill. Oop, there's another something going on over there. There's one. I have a feeling where there's one, there's many. And on that rare occasion, you may have to just go ahead and save your tribe mate when they are trying to battle a rubble golem with a pike. That strategy usually doesn't end well. So don't be afraid to step up and do the right thing and save your tribe mates butt from doom and destruction. Golems don't like rockets, that's for sure. Alright, make sure I don't hit him. <laughs> we'll whiz these right by him. Oh, he stepped into that. I'll wait. Get out of the way of that rock. Look at that, that range. It tosses it out there. Do another headshot, maybe gonna take more than one on that one all right look at that explosion kaboom all right objective and mission almost complete I'm in the final room here I'm gonna throw down as many of the foundations to try to block out as many spawn points as possible we'll see how well it works on my next trip down sometimes these creatures do like to spawn in crazy places which could be behind a rock wall and then they just come jumping out at you 
definitely want to avoid that. As you can see, I'm putting in as many spiked walls as possible all over the place. And eventually that that trophy is going to reappear. But in the meantime, take advantage of, the, of that and throw down some more defenses. Try to keep these rock golems from spawning. I'm going to work the turret system all the way in as far as possible. You can never have enough turrets, that's for sure. Set those up for high range and destroy wild dinos. Try to line it up for that room for the next trip in. <clears throat> Throwing down way more spiked walls all over the place, as many as I can possibly fit in there and still get through reasonably safety. The other tribe mates can destroy them if they're in the way at some point. And there's the prize. Artifact of the crag and a scorched torch skin. So pretty cool. That's a neat little bonus in there. Alright, I'm going to work my way up, grab some more foundations, run back down and start tossing these all over the place. Take advantage of while it's lit up here and maybe connect some of these to give it a larger area. I don't think they'll block out the actual trophy. You can always put a bed in here if you want to and just fast travel and drop them into a storage and show up later. Just grab a whole stack of them at a time. Especially helpful if you have an otter because they can carry the trophies or they can carry more than one. Which could simplify things a little bit if you're headed towards the boss arena more than one time. Alright, I'm going to work my way out of here. Let's see what this looks like <clears throat> running back out. You can see I got everything covered with turrets and I have some leftover foundations so I'm just going to start tossing these down. This place was just filled with those nasty creatures. Hey. I think that's all the foundations I have. I have a few more spiked walls. I'm just going to toss these out and Some strategic locations where dinosaurs might spawn. Alright, that looks pretty good. Let's head on out of here. I'm going to go drop off that artifact of the Craig into the storage box up top and run back down and grab another one. They take a few minutes to respawn in between. But this is definitely going to work out for multiple repeatable trips in and out of the cave. And on Scorched Earth the generators do degenerate or lose a lot of health points so you want to keep making sure those are fixed and always have them full of gas and when your trip is done work your way on out you can just turn those generators off and because they're each of them is covered with a turn so as you're working your way down and turning one on it'll cover the next one so you can turn that on all the way down and that is going to be how I'm going to tame this cave all right, I think I grabbed about five of them here. Turn off the final one, and I'll stop back on a future trip to grab some more of those artifacts. Make sure you don't leave any friends behind. Work your way out slowly with, with your tames so they can follow. Sometimes they get stuck on the environment. 
All right, that is pretty much it. I've worked my way out of here, so there you go. That is one way to tame a cave. Lots and lots of turrets and some building. If you're able to build on your server. And the final step will be put it into a trophy base and be ready for the next boss battle. All right, that'll do it for this video. That's how I tame this cave. Good luck to you guys. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.